Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today we're going to be reviewing, there it is, you can actually read that, no, nope. there you go, Shiny Brewing's Golden Best Golden Bitter, 4.4%, easy drinking, bright golden cask bitter with citrus aroma and it's a grapefruit and pine. Shiny Brewery coming from Derby, Little Eaton. If I'm right. So I've, I built the uh, the base to my, um, and the reason why it's in this bottle is because it's draft. Uh, got it in a beer hall yesterday from a local micro pub called The Abdication in Daybook, Nottingham. And uh, it don't seem to be keeping, it don't seem to be creating a head. Now I wonder if low cost beer injects a little bit of uh, carbon dioxide. CO2, whatever, into theirs to get them so damn solid. Uh, the only other way is a bit of sugar, I suppose. But, um, so apart from that, we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, golden to amber colour. Not much on the aroma, to be fair. Nice twangy bit of taste though. I definitely get the pine straight away. A little bit of citrus. Oh, I need this. So yeah, I've built the base, built it on the decking. I lifted, lifted it up, fucking hell, it weighs a ton. So we've had to, three of us, my, my lad, my wife, and we brought it down, got it to the hot tub, I had to turn it round. So to fish it back, swivel it round so I could do it. And I put another layer of, um, I built it like a pallet. So that there's a, a, a so that it's solidified on both sides. You've got, you've got the normal like a floor side and then you've got beams that it sat on. And then underneath I've actually added like, like a pallet. In fact, I use pallets to do it as well. And use pallet to screw in so it holds them beams in. You see how they build pallets, and they're built to hold heavy stuff. And uh, well, well, no, because I've uh, got the hot tub on it now, uh, straight in the hot tub, I give it a good clean. Bloody hell, it was chatty after a few weeks not using it. Um, and I found, found where the bloody thing's got an old. I've tried to put some um, underwater doodah on. And all it's done is, uh, oh my fucking fingers, <clears throat> pardon my French. But yeah, um, so yeah, just filling it up with hot water now, so I've got a long wait to see how, how good it's going to be. It's perfectly level now, which was one of the things, because uh, the garden, this end of the garden, was never perfectly level. And to do it, I'd have to have a dig down to bring over, and if it spoils the flow of the garden. And also... Uh, that bloody gazebo was a waste of time buying. 114 quid. Um, but I've looked on, I mean the roof's knackered. But I've looked online and you can get uh, replacement like tops for 26 quid that fits that absolutely perfect. So because it's a pop-up gazebo, say we've got parties next year. It won't be this year because it's too damn late now. With coronavirus around, who really wants a party? Um, so yeah, next year I'll get a new roof on it and uh, take it down for the winter. Put it, put it away. I've got a little case that it goes in. I'll dump the sides, dump the top, just keep the rest of it, and uh, use it again next year. So I haven't wasted the whole of the money. The frame's in perfect condition. And all I'll probably do is when I use it on the decking is. When we've got people coming round and we know we're having a bit of party, screw it into the decking floor and then quickly at the end of the night, you know, take it down again. So my third beer from uh, Shiny Brewing. My first beer was actually a sour. Oh, that's nice. Not a traditional best bitter, 
more of a best bitter with um, elements like craft beer elements just to you know to get you interested in because a lot of people they drink the um, more traditional beers but uh, when it comes to the craft stuff they just can't stand it I've got a good mate and he drinks a lot of beer he likes his beer and uh, he will not touch some of the more hoppy stuff you know like your brew dog stuff and uh, he certainly won't touch things like Stone's Go To IPA because that stuff. Wow, even for me, it's a bit, it's a bit on the potent side. I've got to say, even though it's about twenty-seven hours ago since it was poured, poured at three o'clock on Saturday, it's nearly seven o'clock. Well, no, it's six o'clock. So, yeah, it will be twenty-seven hours. 6 o'clock on Sunday afternoon and apart from there was no head so obviously not all beers have heads do they you know when you pour them out of um, when they pour them out on draft but apart from having no head there's good taste there uh, on, the, on the aroma side oh I could smell a minute ago it was a bloody glue on my hands I'm not getting much on the aroma but that may be because it's it's gone that distance but as an experiment goes, I'm well happy with these. I wouldn't want to leave them any longer though. I think a day is enough. And yeah, to be fair, five pints in, in, in 24 hours isn't bad. Plus whatever I have when I'm not... Um, I've got to be good tonight. I'm, I'm going on a 45 minute run tomorrow to get to work. So, uh, there'll be no drinking past nine o'clock tonight. Better crack on there and get them in. So I like a lot of best bitters, which are malt based, bit bland, if I'm being honest. And they are, there's a lot out there that are bland. It's got some nice taste to it, and uh, it's interesting. Going down nicely as well, I could certainly sit in uh, a pub and drink three or four of these, because it's nice and cold, it's quite cool in there today. Um, and uh, yeah, goes down a treat. Can't fault it at all. Hopefully you'll see this review tonight because I did quite a few reviews yesterday and then I did a beer, oh no, I had two reviews backed up from the day before and then I did a beer haul video and then I did another one, two, three reviews yesterday. So they're showing uh, Sunday afternoon so I'm hoping to get the last two reviews in as well. Get all these draft beer reviews out of the way then get back on the normal stuff. But as an experiment goes, yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm at Blackpool in two weeks' time. Um, we're going to the Weatherspoons up there. And uh, I'll be taking, I think I'll take three bowls. And, because, uh, yeah, three would be enough. Plus, if I take five, the wife will kick off. So it's not worth upsetting the old apple cart. <sighs> And uh, we're going to be using the octub for a month. We'll get rid of the gazebo, take the octub down. Hopefully it won't fall to bits when, I take, when it goes down. And see where it goes. We're going to build the octub house this winter. And uh, hopefully build it as fast as we can. Get it done before Christmas. And uh, looking forward to it. Get a nice dry spell. Get it up and run, up and done. Get it as bloody solid as I can. And I'm going to push it up to the boundaries as well, you know. Um, although there will be a little bit of space around it because next door's got ivy growing through the fence. And that's that shit, there's the last stuff you want anywhere near your buildings, your shed, your fence panels. You know, it's awful stuff. Just rots everything. And then it goes through your fence panels. You know, evil stuff. You do not want that growing up your ass. In fact, really, you don't want any plants growing up your ass. And that's from a gardener. So, looking forward to this week. Got a bit of trepidation about what's what what lies ahead. Got a ride on mower. That'll be nice. Hey, so me walking up and down with a mower all day kills you. 
got nine acres to mow apparently. So, fucking hell. Thank God there's a ride on. I mean, nine acres, it's only nine football pitches, but uh, you know, that's a, that's a good bit of mowing if you're doing it by hand with a push mower. Oh, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, so, subtle aroma. I didn't really get the aroma, if I'm being honest. Golden pour, golden to amber pour. Definite citrus, a hint of citrus, hint of pine, hint of grapefruit. Just what it says on the tin. Oh, but although I didn't get much aroma at all, if, if any. Uh, but I did have the smell of that bloody glue on my fingers. Um, overall, though, really decent bitter. And if that was in a pub or a tap, you know, one of these brewery taps that they have these days, even though it's best bitter, it's worth a punt. It's a very good best bitter. I think sometimes best bitter puts beers down. Because in the old days, everything was a best bitter. And you're looking, you think, it's never best. It's the, it's the crap stuff that they, you know, they dish out. And uh, as you notice, I haven't got my T-shirt on today. It's up the ass. Um... But no, um, that was a really interesting beer. A good modern take on a best bitter. With crafty elements, crafty beer elements, that make it more interesting. It's all about the interesting to keep Keeping the interesting beers. Right. And that's it for this beer review. Um, out of five then. 4.4% 4 .4 was the strength. And I've got to be honest. I really liked it. It went down a treat. And, uh, no more beer reviews tonight. Can't can't keep being that far ahead with beer reviews. So try and go back to one or two a day, especially while I'm doing lots of driving. Can't be uh, can't be over the limit in any way, shape, or form. My license is too valuable. <laughs> Could imagine trying to get a bus to Newark. Okay you now. I'd have to leave the house at five in the morning. Uh, no. Fuck, and that comes to mind. Um, so, as an experiment goes, draft beer in IKEA bottles works. But I would think draft beer in pint containers, you know, pint milk, milk pint containers, once they're washed out, obviously, would work as well. So, if if you're, you know, you're worried about drinking in pubs these days, but you want to sample the beer, go in, take like, these bottles or something similar. Oh, even Coke bottles, really, then 500ml Coke bottles. As long as they're washed out, given a good wash, um, they'll be fine. You know, go in and get a bit of draft. And, you know, it's nice to taste new stuff. You know, drinking the same old stuff day in, day out. It's boring as hell. You know, I could not drink the same beer day in, day out. I just couldn't. Uh, I'd lose interest in a matter of minutes. It's just, uh, I need to be trying something new. And that's why beer reviewing... Uh, got me into beer reviewing, you know. Well, one I watched um, Central TV one day and seen this guy, and I thought, and he does. Um, I don't know his name. He does real ale craft beer. That's his channel. He's been doing it for about nine years, to be fair to the bloke. And he's got that like, thirty-seven thousand followers, subscribers. Uh, but after nine years, you'd expect to have at least uh, a few. And obviously, being put on BBC talking about beer. Uh, it's good for your um, your image, I suppose, and your uh, subscribers, because obviously people are looking at, oh, he talks about beer, ooh. Um, well, I've never actually watched one of his reviews, to be fair. don't really watch other people's reviews. It's not that I, I haven't really got time. Time I've done everything else. Gardening, home life, internet work, reviews. Um, yeah, there's not much time for hotels. And work, obviously. I'll bring them pennies in. Right. So I did say 4.4, didn't I? I'm sure I did. Um, so, as always, thank you for the... Uh, how many minutes? 14? Not bad. That's a little bit less than normal. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you soon. And as always, stay safe. You know, uh, that second wave's imminent. You know, you, you can see it. Uh, and the government's now got all these Nightingale hospitals in place, and they've got them in place because they know it's going to it's going to take out quite a few people. 
Mm. There's an inevitability about it. Until they get the virus and other breakthroughs, it's with us until it's until it's until they've got a hold of it with some sort of flu vaccine. I mean, they haven't got a vaccine for the common cold, but they have got flu vaccines. Coronavirus is a type of flu. Uh, so you know, with all the with all the money in the world being pumped into it, you don't know, get it up, up and running straight as soon as that many companies are going to go to the wall because of this. But what will happen is a lot of companies will go to the wall, and then once it's over, there'll be job creation like the twat. And then companies that are doing well now, making face masks and whatever, because there's a lot of that now, isn't there? You know, there's companies making a lot of face masks. Once it ends, them sort of companies will be have to go back to doing something else again. But uh, hey, not really for me to worry about. In the gardening sense, uh, my job's always there. You know, there's, there's always room for gardeners. You hope, anyway. Hey, unless I win the lottery and retire somewhere nice, you know, yeah. Is that the likelihood of that happening? 100 million on the euro, right? Oh, what you could do. I'd have my own little micro pub. Sitting there all day chatting to people about beers. Oh, heaven. And I could easily do social distancing and all that because I've been doing that since the start, you know. So, right, that's it for another beer review. Hope it was uh, half enjoyable. But at least you know that if you go to IKEA and you buy these little fellas at a pound each, you know, these are the best I've seen. The 500 mils. Um, so basically a pint, you know, 568 is a pint, but 68 mils, who's, who's cats in 68 mils? I got 20% off because I took them home as well, which is a bargain. And uh, they've worked, you know, drink them within a day. Well, just over a day. And uh, yeah, all done well. Right, I'll set them off before I keep talking and uh, not get their work done. Thanks for watching, see you soon.